Welcome back. To start with building our board, we assume that you already have some understanding of the platform, so I'm not going to explain all of the board building blocks in which we will be using for our project board. While we do have templates for this sort of use case, I want to demonstrate how we would build a board from scratch and use our reporting needs as part of the decisions we take for structuring the board. As a reminder of what those metrics are, management is looking to see the number of tasks in each phase of the project, the project's progress, different timelines and milestones, the budgets, and a countdown until the project end date. I, as a team lead, are looking to see a fun way to show my team the status of their tasks, the amount of time spent on tasks per person, and overall resource management, so being able to check if my team is under or over capacity. Now, let's hop right into my Monday account. To build a new board from scratch, we're going to click on the plus add button underneath the workspace name and go ahead and select new board. And here's where we can give our board our title. After creating the board from scratch, I want to start thinking of the hierarchy of my data, starting with how I'm going to group the information. Here's where it's important to refer back to the answers to the five questions, as certain reporting needs might influence how you decide to group your items. To start, since this is a project and I know that management wants to see how many tasks there are per phase, I'm going to use the groups as the phases of the project. There's going to be four total phases, so I'm going to create two additional groups. And then go ahead and rename the group names. Next, I'm going to use the items to represent the tasks that need to be completed. Now that the tasks are added, I can start using the columns to make sure that I am able to keep track of the data accordingly. The columns you choose when building your board are based on your general workflow needs. However, reporting needs are also going to play a part. Now, by default, there are three columns added to a board, the people column, status column, and the date column. With the people column, I'm going to use this to assign a team member to a different task. And looking back at my reporting needs, this column is going to be important for anything which shows data per person on the team. So in our use case, this would be the resource management and time tracking per person metrics. The status column will be essential for showing project progress so that I can see how the tasks are progressing throughout the entire project. And then finally, the date column will be important for any deadlines for each of the tasks. To reflect the due date, I'm going to go ahead and change the column name to say due date. Now, these columns are a great start. However, with the needs of both management and myself, there's missing columns that we need to go ahead and add to our board. Since I know management is looking to see the overall timelines and milestones of each of the tasks, I'm going to go ahead and add in a timeline column. That way this can showcase the range of dates and how they're progressing. This will help them see how many days left each task has before its due date has arrived. Since we have some reports involving budgets and managing our resources, I'm going to add in three numbers columns. These columns will represent our planned budget, our actual budget, and our hours that we're allocating to each task. So now this will help management clearly see where we are in regards to our budget and spending so we can make any adjustments. And it will also help me as a team lead see how much capacity my team is at and if we need to reallocate tasks accordingly. Now, quickly going back to the budget, it's also going to be helpful, helpful for management to clearly see the value of how much they are over or under budget on the tasks and as a whole. For that, I'm going to add in a formula column. 
and I'm going to create a formula to automatically calculate the difference between our plan budget and our actual budget. I'm also going to go ahead and rename this. So now management will be able to see how much exactly we are over or under our budget for each of the tasks. Now, if you want to learn more about creating formulas for your workflow, I recommend checking out our formula webinar as we're not going to go into too much detail over creating actual formulas. However, our formula webinar can be found within our academy. Lastly, I want to add in a time tracking column since I as a team lead want to have a report showing me how long each team member is spending on each task. Now that we have our columns added to our board, let's add in some synthetic or fake data to see how the board will look once we start working on the project. Now that we have our board built out with the relevant structure and columns for our reports, join us in the next chapter as we're going to start building our dashboard view.